Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. God loves you. So, let's look at these scriptures. And, uh, Luke 10. Luke 10. Verse 25. Luke 10. Verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and made trial of him, saying, Teacher, <coughs> what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answered, said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus made answer and said, A certain man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among the robbers, who both stripped him and beat him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance, a certain priest was going down that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And in like manner, a Levite also, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he was moved with compassion, and came to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on them oil and wine. And he said to him, on his own beast and brought him to the inn and took care of him. And on the morrow he took out two shillings and gave them to the, to the host and said, Take care of him, whatsoever thou spendest more, I, when I come back again, will repay thee. Which of these three thinkest thou proved neighbor unto him that fell among the robbers? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. And Jesus said unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, show mercy. That is the message we need to learn today. I was looking at this parable. I found it was very interesting. I found that mercy, if we have it, will be able to know how to relate with others. After I've learned about mercy, I can tell you that all of us who are called Christians, we Karna, don't have enemies. Because we need to know who is our neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you don't have enemies. But you have neighbors. Here you can see a man to find that Jesus have to stand with him. Uh, and Jesus proved that, no, you don't need anybody to stand for you. Even when you have right to your things, even when you have got anything you can do to get whatever you can get. It's better you show mercy. Let me ask you this question. Do you have enemies? Mercy is when someone deserves. I'm just giving an example. When someone deserves any punishment from you. 
and you deny him. Amen. Amen. Anybody not only punishment. When you've got ability to answer other people with your material gains and you don't show that you are messless. In other words, the, the mercy you have is checked in what you can answer to others. Therefore, it means as you are like that. You are a solution to other people's problems. If you deny that, you have denied them. There are many reasons that can make us not to show mercy. I mean, maybe we have been offended before. Or we are trying to retaliate to the point that we are innocent. But when you show mercy, it's when you deny anything that can deny you or whoever is searching for you. Is when you deny anything that can make you to deny to offer any help to anyone. You can still offer help to anyone because you don't have an enemy. Another thing that was making me to learn this message was. When mercy is filling your heart, you begin to understand that whoever is against you is there to limit you to practice the life of mercy. Let me say, whoever is against you is there to limit you to oh, practice now, the life of Christ. So this man had right so, to take something from Jesus. And Jesus had to stand with him so that he get his own right from his right. But Jesus said, call him your neighbor. And he gave a parable of a neighbor. He said, here, you can see Jesus showing that many people have got names. But so called, in the Christian life, but they are messless. If you can read that, you will see that a Levite came. And he looked at the man. And he looked at the man. And he said, no. Uh, you can't do that. A priest also came. They all have right to, to help, but they cannot. But a Samaritan who was considered he does not know God. Who was considered he had a demon. Came and proved that he had love. A person who practices mercy Motoya, and shows show mercy, Hello. that person is full of compassion. Full of compassion. Automatically it means even if you have been offended to respond back or against you can rather keep quiet. Because you show mercy and you know whom you are saving. If you know whom you are saving, you feel you have compassion because you know the repercussions of those who are fighting. If we read Matthew 5 verse 7, it says, 
Blessed are the merciful. And they shall obtain mercy. Here you can see that mercy. You know, you be when you have it. It makes you to have to to have answers. To Mercy when you practice it. Again. It also makes you to have answers. Tomorrow. You are the product of your mercy. When I see Tell you, neighbor. Neighbor. Tell you, neighbor. Neighbor. you are the product of your mercy. The way you are is the way you have mercy in you. And it's the way you need to practice that mercy. Is that the way you need to practice that mercy. You have got ability in you. What you have required you is the way you have mercy in you. You have got ability in you. What you have required you is the way you have mercy in you. To practice also this mercy to others. The way you are, you are an answer of someone. 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 You are an answer of And today you are denying other people's mercy. You are blocking yourself. Therefore, mercy is the one that makes you to be yourself. When you show mercy, you are, you are defining yourself. And you are producing yourself. And you will become yourself. In Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, From verse three and four. Three and four. Can you just read that verse? I believe after here you are going to forgive people. Because some problems you have here is because of the prayer you've prayed against them. You said they must die. They must die. The way they did to me, they must die. Can you read verse three, Mama, and four? Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet, on the tablet on your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and men. My God, this shows that mercy and truth are the qualities that makes you to find favor before men and God. It is not only truth, even mercy. If you want to have favor from God, I mean, you have got ability to fight back. You have got ability to answer back. Have compassion. Tell you, have compassion. When you look at the people who are fighting, have they don't know you. They don't even know you. Because it's God who's going to fight for you. Just have compassion for them. Here the Bible shows that there is no mercy and Truth, if you have truth, have mercy. Can I tell you this? If you want to see that you'll be challenged, just have mercy. If you want to see is that you are fighting Satan, have mercy if you are fighting you. You have to see people you are helping fighting you. Don't fight you. You'll be surprised people you are sending them to school. Buy them food. Do you want to them as fighting? Because you are practicing mercy. So that mercy must be checked if it's juning. I don't know if you are hearing me. If it's juning, you will kill you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell someone says, if you have Mercy, and your mercy is genuine. Expect 
a fight against you. Uh, you just love your husband, you take, do everything. One day you hear your husband say, you are stupid. Don't quote what you have done. Uh, every time you don't quote what you have done. Have mercy and forgive me. Most of the time we go, hey, I've been and cooking she, for you. I've been doing that. Later, I found you ugly. Now I'm going to be like you. Don't retaliate. Just show mercy. 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 You hear even as I say, I'm sorry, I didn't know what I said. Because Satan can end everyone. Satan will end everyone. And people that Satan will enter them is the one Satan you love them so much. So show mercy. If you show mercy, you'll be able to forgive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you show mercy, you'll be able to forgive. If you show mercy, you'll be able to forgive. Uh, but now, if you fail to forgive, check the prayers you will pray. Check. You will pray, God, answer me. To prove them. There's no need to prove anyone. No, 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 no. God knows what happened to you. It's the same mercy that will make you to be sustained. And the same mercy will take you to your destiny. Listen, there's no man who can hinder anyone. It's God who determines him. So don't fight back. Show mercy. Tell us, don't fight back. Don't fight back, show mercy. If we read 1 John 3, Check what will happen from verse 13. Can you just read that verse? It's very powerful. Read from verse 13. 1 John 3. John Ewapili, chapter 3, verse 14. 13. 13. Yes, read that verse. Do not marvel, my brethren, yes. if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life. Stop there. Stop there. Listen to that verse. You know, that verse shows that verse you have to reach a level where you have a question about how people respond to you. If you ever find when you are doing good, doing good, doing good, and you find people are doing better on you. This verse is for you. Do not marvel. You can read. You can read. Do not marvel, my brethren, if uh -huh. the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life uh -huh. because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Whoever, Stop there. He who does not love his brother. You are sarating but you are high. Abides in Wanabo. death. Udula lihu. Whether your brother did wrong to you but or you what. Le posuba, awa. If you don't love that brother. But you. Look here. Chilecha. Do not marvel. When your brother hate you. Abo but you are not. But you cannot hate Mara the brother. You have to love your brother. I don't know if you're hearing that. So do not marvel. So you will be hated for nothing. Remember the Bible says, Blessed are you when people are about to curse you, revive you, and, and say all kinds of things. This is the last day. Do not marvel. Okay, read. Uh -huh. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brethren abides in death. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. You can hear now that the Bible says, he who hates his brother you is a what? It's a murderer. I want to tell you the meaning of hate. The hate means 
to work against your brother. He who work against his brother is a murderer. You know why he's a murderer? Because he's fighting his brother's destiny. You are, you are your brother's keeper. He who fight his brother's destiny is a murderer. In him there is no eternal life. In other words, a person who has love in him, there is eternal A person who shows mercy in him, there is eternal Can you read the two written? And it says, verse 16, by, he, by this we know love because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoever has this world goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him how does how does the love of God abide in him my little children let us not love in world or in tongue but in deed and in truth and by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him Verse 20. Okay. For, Can you just stop there? You see here, the Bible says, More Bible We have ability to talk love. But I will tell you this. We don't have ability to talk mercy. Because, because mercy must be shown. You, you know, love also it have got actions. You can still love your brother and do things for your brother, brother only. But it can be difficult to those who hurt you. There are some people that just to say I'm very sorry is very difficult for them. I'm sorry. What's more of doing something for you? Just to say sorry is difficult. So, 21. Read 21. Now verse 21. It says, Beloved, uh. if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. And whatever we ask, we receive from Him because we keep His commandments and do them, sorry, and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. If you have mercy, you have confident of using God's name. When you say in the name of Jesus, this will happen. It will happen. If your heart does not condemn you, if you reach a point where you find in your heart there is nobody, you have forgiven everyone, you love everyone, you have shown mercy to people who need your ability. Can I tell you this? When you say the name of Jesus, you bring Jesus to the scene. You have got confidence in using God's name. You know, mercy is so important. I found that when God wants to do something, Satan has to bring people to challenge you. So that you become merciless. Because remember, mercy responds to your future. Mercy brings your future close to you. What is far must come to you. If you want to encounter your future, just show mercy. By showing mercy, you are passing through to your destiny. I don't know if you are hearing that. Tell your neighbor, by showing mercy, the past will be the past. And the future is coming to But listen, you can practice what you don't know. In 1 Peter chapter 2, if we read from verse 9 to 12, the Bible says we have received mercy. Therefore, we need to show mercy. Can you read the Amplified Bible there? Let me go there. Amplified from verse 9. Yes. It says, but you are a chosen race, 
a royal priesthood, uh -huh. a consecrated nation, a special people for God's own possession, yes. so that you may proclaim the excellent, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yes. Once you were not a people at all, but now you are God's people. Uh -huh. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers in the world to abstain from the sensual edges, those dishonorable desires that wage war against the soul. Keep your behavior excellent among the unsaved Gentiles. Conduct yourself honorably with graciousness and integrity so that for whatever reason they may slander you as evildoers, yet by observing your good deeds, they may instead come to glorify God in the day of visitation yes. when he looks upon them with mercy. Listen, God wants us to show mercy. You know mercy? Yes, Rachel. It is the one that will bring the results of the end. The first thing we need to know ourselves, we didn't know God. We didn't know God. Now we are chosen generation. We are chosen. We are different now. Two, we have been given mercy. We didn't have mercy. We have been given. But because of that, this mercy is going to be required in our lives. We need to practice it. Even if people can slander you, they will glorify God in the last place. You must know that when you are busy practicing that place, you will see what people will do to you. But there will be a day of visitation. Let me tell you, there's a day of visitation Something must happen to you that has never happened. A miracle must come your way. The Bible says, even if they slander you, try to show you that God is not there. Or why are you helping people who are against you? But there will be a day of that visitation where they will glorify your God. You cannot practice what you don't have. If you have mercy, you will show mercy. If you have mercy, you will show mercy. Once you have mercy, challenges will come. Challenges will come. Challenges will come. Challenges will come. I will tell you what has kept me. What has kept me in my marriage. Mercy. Mercy can keep you in your marriage. Because I will look at my wife. I will look at my wife. And I say, if she's wrong. If she's wrong. I mean, I must forgive her. But it won't end there. I must show her mercy. So therefore, my response to her wrongs cannot bring arguments or strikes. But if now I don't want to show mercy, I will retaliate. She will hold grudges. I have my grudges. We argue. We fight. Let me tell you in When you are married, you will hear people not calling each other by those good names, nice names. Those names are now gone, are finished. Those ones of love, sweetie, are finished. Those the names of love and sweetie gone. Even when somebody comes back from work, coming back being tired, when he comes to the bedroom, nobody follows him. 
When things are in the starting uh, 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 stage, when there was compassion and love, when the husband enters through the door, when the door is opened, immediately people met, meet at the door. Right now there's nowhere where people meet. There are now children. Jacob's mom. Jacob's mom. Maria's mom. She and Lavi are gone. Because people have hated each other. And they are not showing each other. And they are from their love. From their love. Where there is messless love has disappeared. Today many people are here. Grudges everywhere. Grudges everywhere. Others they cannot move forward. They are remembering their boyfriend. Hey, the things he has done to me. He must die. If I hear that he is gone, I will celebrate. You are there where you are. You are dead also. Even your future will die. Whatever you wish for others, you will receive. Whatever you wish for other people is your prayers. So your mercy, when you practice it, you will have a chance to ask yourself, do I have a chance to ask yourself, if I'm doing this to person, if this person is me, how am I going to feel? You know, mercy, when you practice it, before you act, mercy in you ask you questions. Before you do this, how do you feel if it's done on you when mercy overpowers you? Say, oh God, let me pray for that person. You kneel down, now you pray. I don't know if you're hearing me. I mean, people who are messless, they can even take everything from you. When you are crying, you are entertaining them. I don't know if you hear me. I say, are you messless? Or you are messy? Look at this verse. I'll give you a few verses we close. Just a few verses and I want you to write them down. Go and read Jude 1. Jude 1. Verse 18 to 24. 18 to 24. You will find that mercy is a weapon of victory. Mercy is going to be a weapon of victory. In James 2 verse 13. You found that mercy. When you practice it you receive mercy. But judgment will come. The way you practice mercy. When you are showing it is the way you receive it. Whoever does not show mercy will receive judgment. Can you read verse, I mean, if you read James 2 verse 13. James 2 13. Yes. It says, for judgment will be merciless to one who has shown no mercy. But to the one who has shown mercy, mercy triumphs victorious over judgment. If you don't show mercy, don't ever think even when people are praising you, it's over. Because even judgment is coming to you Proverbs 11 verse 17. You read 17 and 18. Because it yeah, is 11, it, 17 Proverbs, and 18. Yes. 11, 17 to 18. I want to close. Can I read it? Yes. The merciful and generous man benefits his soul, for his behavior returns to bless him. 
but the cruel and callous man does himself harm. The wicked man earns deceptive wages, but he who sows righteousness and lives his life with integrity will have a true reward that is both permanent and satisfying. I want to tell you that there is a sure reward. There is a reward. In everything you are doing, there is a reward. The wicked, they are merciless. They are cruel. I will tell you something. Even if you have a lot of money, if you had 10 million, I'm going to tell you million in life, you will never eat one million. You will never eat one million. You will never eat one million. Your blessing are shown on who eat your money. If you have many mouth, who are eating your money, it's multiplication to your reward. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm trying to make you to understand this. What is making us poor today? We are failing to show mercy. That verse says, the wicked are merciless. This man who is merciful does good to his soul. In other words, you won't see on the outside, but inside he's doing something. There are many people outside that are very rich, but they are wicked inside. Merciless. After this church, I want to tell you that I want to tell you that I want to tell you that I want to tell you Go home. Do something for your parents. Check there are some brothers and sisters who are suffering. Start from your home. Some of you are merciless to extend that some people are suffering but you can't feed them. And you don't care. As long as you are eating. As long as you are eating. Because listen, your progress and show blessing that will come to you is when you are merciful to others. How do you want us to prosper when we are so focusing to ourselves? You know, I've been preaching this for many years. This, I've been preaching it for many years. Even what I'm saying today, I'm still saying the same. Go and show mercy. There are some people that if you do something to them, the blessing you are searching is in them. That blessing will be released. There are some people that are holding your blessing now. If you go and show that message, you give. I mean, how many of you, your mothers are sleeping down? But you have good money. I mean, there are some people today that that if they can go and rectify that mistake, they become stupid before God. The favor of God is going to locate them. I said the favor of God is about to locate you. I said the favor of God is about to locate you. Ask somebody, whom are you showing mercy? Say, answer me. Just say, answer me. Think about you become even stingy. What imana? Even to yourself. What imana? What imana? Le moguena. To extend that, ubiye uto bika kunga gedera ya tea. You even cook a whole the full chicken inside the kettle of tea. Because you don't want people to know you are cooking. Because I onyakutsebora batobati, I onyakutsebora batobati sebora uapi yaho. 
We are so selfish to extend that. Oh, I demand now for the last year, sorry. You can't even buy yourself cold drink when you are driving home. I take a cold drink when you are going to fish. And you are with people in the car. And you know they don't have money. What's the problem, Chelete? You are just accelerating two hundred. But you are thirsty. You are thirsty. You are passing garage. Because you don't want to buy a drink for them. You are just saying I'm a good driver. I'm a good driver. You are about to faint. You will kill other people. People they die because they fail to show mercy. Think about your tolerating your driving to Zimbabwe. Nah, no, we are Zimbabwe. We are driving. We are in. We are hotel. And your eyes cannot see well now. But we are pushing. And we are pale. We are going to go to the You are afraid to spend ten rand. Oh, chavo, no, 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 ten rand. To buy this one cold drink. Yeah, we are going to go to the mall cold drink. People are stingy. Hey, but we are not the man. They die, they leave money. They are stupid people coming to reverse it. They come and reverse it. I pray today. That you change. Now you enter politics. 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 But yourself, you go to the shop of a name, of a city. Look how messless are you. Not long I found one man who's messless. He buy cabbage and bones. For his mother. The bones will be Some people are so messless. You are denying yourself in the future. I pray you repent today. I pray you repent. I pray you repent. Can I call messless people? Come and surrender to Jesus. Come, messless people. <laughs> Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananisa. Touch your screen now. Some of you, if you become angry, you break everything. Come, messless people. Messless, I'm waiting for you. Messless people. But 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 I'm waiting for you. people. are suffering you. are waiting for you. Messless people. But I'm waiting for you. Messless people. But I'm waiting for you. Come and be merciful. Jesus loves you. Listen, merciless people. When you practice that merciless life, you don't become answer to many people. You'll be confined to your own needs. You'll be surprised when you have a, a room is for you alone. God wants to extend you so that you have rooms for others. So that you have abundance. God wants to make you a blessing. You are holding yourself one place. Some of you are in depths today. God wants to crush those depths. Some of these depths are giving you headache. Can I tell you this? Release yourself. There are things you have not done. There are some people who are crying. And their cry has reached before God. By coming to Jesus, you are 
releasing yourself. Let us raise our hands before the Lord. And as we are going to pray, search deep inside your heart. You know where you didn't show mercy when mercy was needed from you. Something you, you were supposed to do and you didn't do it. So from today as you are going to pray this prayer, when you go out, show mercy to everyone that you will meet and show mercy to your brothers, your sisters, people that you are living with so that you can also open your way so that you can be able to find mercy in the Lord. Close your eyes, follow me in prayer and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I haven't been showing mercy. I was out of your love. I didn't walk according to your word. I didn't do what your word commanded me. I didn't do what was needed of me. I was living according to my own understanding. But from today, Lord, I come to you. Have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. I come back to you today. Clean my heart. Cleanse my inner self. Get inside of me. Take out every fault. I want to have mercy to everyone that I live with. To everyone that I have friendship with. To everyone that calls himself my enemy. Lord, I want to have mercy. From today, Father, I will do your commandments. I will follow you. I will do what you say. Thank you for a merciful heart. Thank you for a compassionate heart. Thank you for a heart that hears you. Thank you for a heart that follows you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. Keep watching Charis TV.